Hey yo, what is good ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Bash, as usual, and um, we're actually playing a little bit of team deathmatch here on Radiation. Um, yes, I have had a game on Radiation before, but for whatever reason, I seem to do well on the same maps. Like, I was looking through my gameplays, and I have games on Radiation, Array, which you guys have also already seen on my channel, and Havana. For some reason, those seem to be maps I do well on. I don't know if it's because I get them a lot, but uh, they treat me well for whatever reason, so, you know. Uh, I won't deny it. <laughs> um, it's probably because I play them so much and I'm kind of used to the layout and used to the way it runs. And, you know, I'm used to things by now. So at this point, um, I don't know, I seem to just do better on the maps. My, uh, my map awareness overall is better. As I try to take out this spy plane, I'm not running Ghost. I'm not sure if I'm running Lightweight or, or Hardline, but I'm not running Ghost. And um, I'm trying to take down this spy plane because, as you guys know, in Modern Warfare 2, you could take out UAVs just by shooting them, but you did have stopping power back then, so it was much easier to take down spy planes. I was not able to take that spy plane down, but for whatever reason, I've come to notice that people just don't use their maps um, as much as I expect them to. There's not as much map awareness as I would expect players to use. Um, as you can see right here, like I stabbed this guy instead of shooting him because I don't want to give away my position on the map, and um, I found that a lot of the time... For instance, I'll run behind, I'll, I'll, I'll catch like three dudes running out of a building and I'll, I'll be behind them and I'll shoot and kill one of them while the other three, other two are still running away and then I'll catch up to the other two and I'll fully expect me to, you know, for them to turn around and kind of encounter me. But a lot of the time I find they just, they just don't, they're just not prepared. They're still just running straight, oblivious to what just happened because they're not paying attention to their map. Clearly, they're not using map awareness to their advantage. For me, I find myself staring at the map more than I stare at the main screen. Um, even when I don't have a, you know, a, a spy plane or a blackbird up, and that's because I use my teammates um, to my advantage. Um, like for instance, right here, I know there's there's not really too many teammates in this building, so there might be people in this building. I'm ready for for this guy, for example. Um, but you know, paying attention to your mini map and knowing what your teammates are going through, where they kind of all are, um, where you see their their uh, where you see them disappearing where you see them spawning, all those types of things give you a good good indication of where the enemy is. So um, if there's something, if there's one tip that I would really stress at this point in time, it is use your map, guys, because people don't seem to be using their maps as much as I'd expect them to, and it's crucial. I think it's one of the most crucial things in the game. So, um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not running Ghost. For whatever reason, I was probably just playing around with different, you know, perk setups, because this is pre- prestige so this is before i prestiged um i am using the commando which at this point i'm in my first prestige right now and i have not unlocked the commando um, i'm really really close to unlocking it actually i think i'm like two three levels away so i probably will have it really soon but um i am using that commando a lot of people were asking for my opinion on the commando and they wanted to really, really wanted to see the commando for some reason i don't know if it's because of the name and it kind of brings back memories but <laughs> Uh, for me, man, I love the Commando. I didn't think I'd like it, but it, it really it feels like my ACR. I, I say my ACR because I was in love with the ACR, and um, it really does feel the same way. Low, low recoil. Um, damage isn't, I don't know if the damage is all that, but due to the low, low recoil, you're hitting a lot more of your shots, and, uh, you know, you're, you're getting more kills. I feel like I'm getting more kills more dependably with this gun anyway, and I like it a lot. So when I do unlock it, I will definitely use it for a while. Um, I don't think I'm going to prestige too quickly after this prestige. Just because I want to take time to, you know, get the pro perks. From what I've heard, Treyarch has addressed the sound whoring issue. And they have fixed sound whoring. That's what I've heard. Or um, at least when you have Ninja Pro. So I'm going to work to get Ninja Pro. Work to get a lot of the pro perks and kind of test them out. Um, there's a lot that I haven't tested out and I want to test out. So we'll see. Um, you, you'll see me kind of go on a little bit of a death streak here. Uh, I die a lot, and my team is back by a lot of points at one point. But um, you know, don't worry. To the end, I, I think I do kind of pick things up, and so does my whole team. You know, credit to them, and we kind of make a comeback. Now I am playing mercenary team deathmatch. The reason for that is, as you guys know, I love just jumping around corners like that, and surprising the shit out of people. You know, surprise bitch, giving them the surprise bitch jump. But um, <laughs> man. Um, I, I was playing by myself because a lot of you guys are kind of aware of the issues that Treyarch is kind of facing right now um, with this game and, and matchmaking. So it's hard for me to get a game together with, you know, a team of players. Usually when I'm playing by myself, 
which which is rare i'll kind of um i'll turn to my twitter like i did this past week i actually turned to my twitter and asked some of you guys to come play with me so that's kind of a shameless plug for my twitter <laughs> if you guys aren't following me already you should be um but you know it was kind of hard we had a full team of six and once everyone joined my my session from twitter we all got in and we had six people i was like fuck what did i just do because now i'm never gonna find a match and it was hard but we ended up finding a couple matches we had a couple you know good times together so that was a lot of fun so so um for those of you who aren't following me yeah like i said man follow me on twitter because um i will be using that a lot more often especially when matchmaking is fixed um now there's a couple things i want to talk about uh one thing you know kind of non-gameplay related as i try to steal this guy's kill let me just address that quickly um i don't try to steal kills actually there's two things i want to address before i get off the kind of gameplay topic um, one is, is stealing kills. I, 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 I tease my friends a lot, man. I always tease them whenever I'm shooting someone and they finish them off and get that kill. I go, man, you fucking asshole, you stole my kill. But <laughs> in reality, man, this is a first person shooter. Stealing kills doesn't exist, man. When, when you, when I see somebody moving, I shoot them. If they're an opponent, I shoot them. That's the, that's the key of the game. This is Black Ops. You got to kill the other other team, man. So if I see someone on the other team, I'm not going to hesitate and think about, oh, is, you know, is, is T-Mark killing him? Is Onslaught killing him? Or, you know, is, is who who's there? Oh, Benjo shot him already. Nah, none of that stuff. Listen, if I see someone running, I'm going to kill them. I'm going to shoot them. Transversely, if I am shooting someone and my friend kill, finishes them off, I'm not going to blame them, man, because, like, you see someone moving, kill them. That's your role. That's what you're supposed to do. So do it. I mean, that, that's that's the game. So I mean, this whole kill stealing stuff doesn't really exist. <laughs> it's a figment of your imagination. You're supposed to kill people. But um, you know. Uh, also, another thing I want to talk about. You saw an RC car running around earlier. Um, a lot of people panic when they see RC cars and they kind of just try to run away or they try to sh they shoot at it like crazy. Shooting at it is cool if you you know if you have no other way to kind of get away from it. But I find that hiding around corners. Um, you know, especially a corner that you think the RC car is going to pass right by is a really, really good move. Um, a lot of the times, if you're just hugging that corner, the RC car will go right by it. That'll do two things for you. Number one, that will um, allow you to, you know, shoot the RC car down and make sure no one on your team dies. And that'll also make sure that you don't die. And those are two key um, things that you kind of want to, two key things that you want to have happen in a, a game like Team Deathmatch because dying is detrimental to your team winning. Um, so it's something you really, really want to look out for. So, I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, if, for those of you who have seen Jurassic Park, um, you know, when you see a T-Rex, what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to stay absolutely still. Because <laughs> do the same thing when you see, I mean, I've never seen a T-Rex myself. But if I do see one, I'll know what to do. Stay still. Um, <laughs> when you see RC car, hug a corner, stay still, hang tight, and uh, you'll be okay. So here we are. We're trying to make our comeback now. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the game. Um, so for those of you who have been to my actual channel lately, if you haven't head over there, um, I have actually been officially partnered with YouTube. So, I mean, that's a really cool thing. It's a great feeling um, to have someone approach you, to have a company approach you and say, hey, man, listen, we're really interested in what you're doing. We think you're you're making great quality videos. We think you're doing some great stuff. And we want to, you know, partner with you to get you a, a full partnership on YouTube. Like, that's a really cool feeling. So, you know, I... I it was amazing. I was baffled when I heard it. I was like flabbergasted and happy. Um, now, a lot of my friends have been getting um, their partnerships through Machinima. I myself got my partnership through the Game Station. That was just a personal preference choice. I feel like for myself, um, in terms of channel growth and really growing this channel and getting this community, this iBash TV community to grow, um, the best thing that you know I can do or we can do, it, the best choice for me was to kind of go with the Game Station. So that's a decision that I have made. So you won't be seeing any more of my videos on... on um, Machinima, they'll all be either here on my own channel or on the game station. Um, I've also joined Team Noble, as you guys have seen lately. So you might, guys might see some gameplay over there. I do have a game over there. Um, I've talked about it before, but I will link it one more time for you guys. But um, yeah, man, there's going to be some changes. I mean, I really do want to work harder on getting the quality up as we make that comeback. You guys saw that comeback just at the end there. Uh, but I do want to get the quality of the videos up. I'm, I'm going to do like a video commentary, I think, every two weeks. I'm going to start doing more real-life videos. I say that a lot, but I really am working on doing some more real-life videos with some of my friends this weekend. Um, so, you know, something cool, something fun that I hope you guys will enjoy. And, uh, yeah, man. So, you guys, connection interrupted. I guess homeboy got upset and just pulled the plug, but <laughs> that's life, right? Uh, but, hey, man. Got another commentary for you probably coming out in the next couple of days. Um, as always, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you all later. Peace.